How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech. So let's say you've updated your iPhone to iOS 14 and you just realized that some of your apps are missing. Uh, they're just completely gone. They are not here on the home screen anymore and neither on the app library. So you can look for them, but they are not here. You can't seem to find them. Uh, I'm gonna actually give you an example of one app that's completely gone from my iPhone. So then I can make you understand what's going on. So uh, let's say I wanna open Google Translate. I know I have Google Translate here on my iPhone uh, simply because if I scroll down, if I pull down uh, the spotlight search and then I actually look for Translate, it's here, so I know I have it installed on my iPhone, so it's here, okay? But uh, where is it? It's not here, it's not here, and if you look closely, you won't be able to find it here either. So it's just completely gone. The thing is, the app is definitely hidden in one of two places, and I'm gonna show you right now how you can find any app that's hidden right here in iOS 14. Uh, the first thing you have to do actually is look for inactive pages. If you're not sure what an inactive page is, I'm gonna show you right now. So uh, go ahead here and go ahead and open your home screen anywhere on your home screen and then tap and hold on any blank space on your home screen. It can be this, this, or even this big blank space right here and then it's gonna open up Jiggly mode, okay? And then you're gonna tap on the page selector uh, icon right here at the top. So when we tap on that page selector uh, button, it's gonna actually show us all the pages we have available on our iPhone. And some of those pages are gonna be active, the ones that have the check mark, and others are not the ones that are completely blank. So as you can see, I have three active pages, this one, this one, and this one, and all of those inactive pages. So maybe the app you're looking for, it's just hidden in an inactive page. To enable it, all you have to do is tap on the page and then done. And then hit done again, look for that new page that it just enabled, and then uh, look if your app is here. And as you guys can see, translate is right here. So there we have it, the app is right here, but maybe it isn't maybe the app is not here at all. Uh, or maybe you don't even have those multiple pages. Maybe you just have, uh, let me just uncheck it. Maybe you just have those three or two and the, the rest is completely blank. So you may be thinking, okay, I don't have inactive pages and still I can't find my app. So the thing is, it is actually hidden in the app library. Uh, even if you can't seem to find it right here, it is definitely gonna be in one of those boxes. So uh, if you actually tap, uh, uh, if it, you're seeing this folder here and you may think it only has three, seven apps, but no, if you tap here, you see that it's gonna open up and show more apps. And here we have Translate. Sometimes it has a ton of apps like this one. So not necessarily it only has seven apps. Sometimes it has much more than that. And uh, easier than go ahead and looking one by one, you can just search on the app library. So you can tap here, search for translate, and then there we have it, Google Translate is right here. And if you actually wanna go ahead and move this application to one of your active homepage pages, all you have to do is tap and hold, and then you can go ahead and move it around. So you have it at your fingertip, so you can leave it right here, or you can put it at any page that you want. So that's how you want to hide uh, hidden apps in iOS 14. So you can just move those apps from the app library to your usual pages, to your active pages. And of course, you can do the other way around as well. You can tap and hold, and then uh, you have the possibility to remove app and move to app library. You're not deleting, you're moving to the app library. So then it's gonna go ahead and hide back to the, app, to the app library, so then it's gonna be hidden from view all over again. So that's how it works. A ton of people get confused about this on how app library works, uh, where why these apps get so hidden and they're just gone, why is it so confusing? And now you understand that the app library is where all your apps are gonna be. They're always gonna be here. Every single application that you have installed on your iPhone is always gonna be in the app library. It may be a little bit hidden, so use the search. Or it's not even so hidden, it's just that you have a page that it is inactive, just like I showed you a couple minutes ago. 
check your pages, check if you have inactive pages, because maybe the apps that you're looking for are just in a disabled page, and then you can enable them all by just tapping, and there you have it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, the subscribe button and press the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And also, please make sure to hit the comment box and let me know all your thoughts about this and anything else that you want to do. So that's pretty much it. And I'll be back in a few days. Bye-bye.